So how is it going? It's getting better. It's getting better, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, your voice is sounding much better than last week. Yes, thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, the season is changing. A lot of people are coming down with colds. But then again, the Nigerian is a resilient person, right? We always bounce back, as Rekiba is doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So today we are taking a look at neighborliness. And because we need to qualify this, we're going to take a break. But before we go, I'm saying neighborliness in itself connotes positivity. But to make it, to take it a step further, we're saying good neighborliness because we're going to talk about the bad aspect of our neighbors. So don't go away as we take this time out and sample some opinions. My neighbors are my friends. They're my friends. I can't do without them because when I have anything, I recourse to them. I visit them, they visit me, we chat together. If I don't see any of them, I'll go there and ask, I've not seen you for some time, what is happening? The benefit is that you may run into a problem one day, so it's your neighbors that will come to your aid first. Um, it depends on the neighbor you have and how long have you lived with that person. But uh, I, I'm of the opinion that one should know his neighbor. Even if the neighbor packed in yesterday, you should know him. Hide their pride, keep your pride, go to him, welcome him. From there you study him. In the course of interaction, you'll be able to know the kind of person he is. There's a lot of benefits attached to it. That not, they, they, they said, uh, there's a saying that says... Uh, your neighbor is your brother. Because if you are living within an, a neighborhood, if anything happens to you, whether it's good or bad, it's your neighbors that you call. Your neighbors will come first. Um, you, in Af that is Africa culture. We are in Africa, so we should know our neighbor. Good morning, good afternoon, maybe. Like now, I left home around after seven. So now I want to go and eat, I will still go back. When I close, maybe we'll meet outside, or maybe Saturday, maybe when you are sweepy, or maybe a child is crying. Depends on the kind of a house you live if it's a block of flat you must see yourself at least in a week twice or three times like now in abuja here whether you are good or you are bad it's just like abroad nobody cares about anybody you see people in the house sick apart from this phone that is helping us abuja is just like abroad nobody knows his neighbor too much it depends on the environment you live but if you live in somewhere like maraba and yaya uh, neighbors know they are saying more because they come outside because of maybe no Nepal or environment, this, that. But in all these estates, most of it, you don't know your neighbor. Uh, even though you want to know them, it's once or twice in a week you see. It's about security. Knowing people who live with you, is this, that is the number one thing. That is the security. So I know, I always try to know everybody that is around me. So and I try as much as possible to know my environment. I, I don't know my neighbors too well because of the terrain or because of the location or the environment where I find myself. You know, I, I stay in, in an estate where you have people having their own apartment, a, a little bit fenced, and you can't really get across to them. You see somebody coming out of the, the gate in the morning, drives away, you come out, you drive away. I don't, sincerely, I don't know my neighbor too well, unlike those days where I, where I was coming from. You know, where you can push out. At night, you don't have matches. You can go out, get the matches from your neighbor. Today, it's not like that. I obviously don't know my neighbors very well because I just moved into this neighborhood. But I get to, I think I, I'm supposed to get to know them with time. It's actually good because um, judging from the school environment where I come from, I could actually step to leave my room and then step to the next room and then ask my neighbor for something. But if there is no relationship between me and my neighbor, I think it's not possible for that person to help me when I'm in need. No man is an island and you can't obviously have everything you need at a particular point in time. Uh, it's good to know your neighbor. But for Nigeria, for we in Nigeria, if you want to know your neighbor, it will be you are prognosing to their affairs. But if you want to know more about your neighbor, allow their children to enter, to, to enter your house, 
entertain their children. You stay style to interview them. They will, they will tell you who their mother is, who their father is. You understand? Where their mother and their father is working. Through that one, you can know their, your neighbors. You can even say, during maybe during Christmas, or send something to them as a present. So through that, you can be friendly with them and know them. When there's a child out there that's not getting the same that your own child is getting, the difference will tell and there will come a time in the society where that child is going to take his pound of flesh. Where you can actually, everything from watching a, a program with the child, you can start up the conversation from something on the TV and yeah. say, oh, you know. <laughs> for, me, for me, it's like, hurry up with this business. Mm. And the other one said, I see it's not about me, it's about the guys, it's they're not ready the to marry. Yes. So if she wants to ask something, no, I know my mother very well. <laughs> In fact, the most interesting one is when I put up pictures on WhatsApp, you know, Snapchat filters and all that, she will call me, mm -hmm. remove that picture. <laughs> I, there was a thing, I got tired of all that. First of all, we have to go back to a writer you are very well known for you know, teaching skills. Your students uh, speak a whole lot about you. It's Nigeria competition. Yeah. I said, you know, let's pick them up, uh, let's take them back to Nigeria, and let's teach them a different kind of job. Welcome back. And uh, from the samples we've taken, Bola Bolaji ended that Vox Pop and her take. Well, you should uh, talk to your neighbors, veer their children, you give them a few gifts and they'll tell you a few things about <laughs> their parents. Is that the best way to get to know your neighbors? I think that's been nosy, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and that is not a neighbor you would want to have, <laughs> no really, really. Yeah. So, well, before we go to some of the things we don't like about our neighbors, I'd like to talk to the positive first. How would the perfect neighbor find out about who you are? Well, I think a perfect neighbor should be someone you could relate to in a very sane manner. You could have a good relationship and good understanding. Having it in mind that there are limits to how the relationship can be between you and your neighbor. I feel we should, you should be able to have some trust in your neighbor. Uh, let's say, for example, you're going to travel and you, an impromptu trip and you have to leave your home, you know, with the kids or even without the kids. You could actually say, oh, this is a good person. She's like a sister. Yeah. I could just, you know, hand over my house keys to her and I'm safe. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think for me, it's, uh, I think the trigger word there will be love. You know, even the Bible says it, that you, know, you should love, you your, love neighbor your neighbor as yourself. yourself. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, it's also about being selfless. It's not all about <coughs> you. You have to think about the other person, you know. For instance, if you have to travel, you have to be, you have to, you know, have that confidence that your neighbors, the people out there, are going to look out for you even when you're not there, right? And there should be some kind of respect to And she talked about trust, she, you know, uh, there should be that trust you know that trust established amongst you know neighbors so that when somebody is <coughs> not there you feel like you're there because they they're going to look out for you they have yeah, your yeah. back yeah. they're not going to throw you under the bus mm -hmm. you know yeah. and and at the end of the day that's that is all encompassing of love you know yeah so Sumto, what what would the perfect neighbor be like to you oh to me a perfect neighbor should be like family 
you know, because these are people you see every day. These are people you wake up in the morning and you see them, you have conversations with them. And basically, a perfect neighbor is one who is always willing to help at any time. And because um, if anything happens to you, the next point of call it, we your neighbor, not even your brother who stays in another city, or not even your mother, the best person to go to is your neighbor. So neighbor is family. Yeah, well, right. uh, for, yeah. for me, I think uh, it, it's, it's reasonable to say that I, I would act to my neighbors the way I would want them to act exactly. to me. Yeah, mm -hmm. to me. So uh, I, over the years, I've decided that, you know what, I would be to you what I want you to be to me. Right. And from there, if I, if I give you the signals that this is the kind of neighbor I want to be, mm -hmm. but you're not getting my vibes, mm -hmm. then I think that we, we're going to be, you know, rubbing each other off the wrong way. Wrong way yeah. Because if, if, I, if I see you in the morning and I wave, and you see me, you don't wave, then I, it means that <coughs> you know, there's, there's something, yes. we're, not, we're not communicating. Yes. We don't, sometimes we're, you're rushing off to work. It doesn't really have to be the long, oh, how is this person, right. how is that person? Mm -hmm. And as he said, your neighbor is, is your brother, actually, because mm -hmm. before you call anybody else, your neighbor is the first person. If you yeah. shout, if you yell, the first person to come out is your neighbor. So you must try to be on good terms with your neighbors. Right. You, it, it, you have to, yes. because it is also your intelligence tells you that this is the right thing to do, exactly. because you don't know when you might need someone to... To, to come in and help you with anything. Mm -hmm. yeah, so it, it's your, your own reaction to yeah. elicits probably the reaction you get back from your neighbors. Yes, but sometimes too, you know, in, <coughs> in trying to be that good person, that good neighbor, you know, some people take it for granted or take it overboard so that that boundary is not yeah. that they don't know when they are overstepping boundaries. You know, for instance, like the lady that mentioned that you have to uh, <laughs> talk, get, talk to yeah, the kids get, to get, get information. Yeah, get info. That is not your business. And I think, I think, because some people take uh, advantage of the fact that you're a good person, and you know you say good morning. You, <coughs> you once in a while you you spend some time with them. They think is is every reason why they should maybe. Be overbearing, oh, you know. Yeah. So where, want where to know, want to know. they want yeah. to know this, they, they want, want to know, know that, that. without yeah. you offering that information, you know, they they keep digging and asking questions about this, about that, and so I'm like, okay, so at what point do you say, okay, enough you, is enough? Yeah, what because, are the and boundaries? Then, I, and I think sometimes that's why some people feel they don't want to communicate with their neighbors because they don't know what's going to come out of it. Okay. You know, some so, people might so there, just are, there, are, there are reasons why we want boundaries, even with neighbors, right? In big cities, people live in gated communities. Mm -hmm. So that in, that, is, that in itself is, is the boundaries that we have set up, physical yep. boundaries. Yeah. If you're talking about your neighbor, you have to understand the personality of that person, which is very, very important. Mm -hmm. You have to give it time. You just don't rush into it like, be my sister, you're my family. You have to watch and observe the kind of person the person is. Right. Yes. Yeah. You could, you could see some people could be actually very nice but nosy some people <laughs> right. could be you True. know mm -hmm. and you have to like you said you would have to show your neighbor this is the kind of neighbor i want to be to yeah. you so i would expect the same from you and we're talking about that well i feel having a good neighbor is like a blessing yes it oh, is it is a blessing, it is a blessing. <laughs> having the other way, having it the other <laughs> way, right? It could be a curse. Yes, and you would just curse. be uncomfortable in yes, your own yes, house. Yes. yes. That you might even think of, you know, going out. But it starts with you. Yeah. You have to set the boundaries. Yeah, true. Yeah. true. You so have to set the boundaries. You have to let the person know, okay, this is this is it. You just don't accept everything that mm -hmm. the person does. Mm -hmm. And it's all about understanding. You get to understand each other and she knows I respect your boundaries as well as well, you should also respect their boundaries. So uh, what are some of the reasons why we think we should have boundaries? Okay, um, of course, um, there are a lot of reasons why you should have boundaries because um, a lot of people love their space, mm -hmm. you know, and they want to have their space to them and they don't want people to get in their space. Right. But um, you have to set those boundaries. And for you to set those boundaries, like you said, you have to be that neighbor, yeah. what you want that neighbor to, to be, be to, to you. you. So, exactly. Um, emotional intelligence. You have to understand how the neighbor thinks. You have to understand what kind of person he is and um, the kind of conversation. Basically, you have to study. Mm -hmm. Because once you mm -hmm. get to study um, the individual or mm -hmm. whosoever is around you, 
you will be able to know the best way to you know relate with that person mm -hmm. and of course they say you don't do anything you don't want anyone to do to you don't of do course you don't do that to that, that person. person so it's, uh, it's as simple as things you don't want you have to set that boundary from the one you move into the apartment or right. move into the environment mm -hmm. it's not when you you're used to doing one particular thing and at the, at the particular time and then you you're changed change and then of and then they'll be like oh there this guy is friction. so this guy is a wicked person yes. this guy is a bad yes. person you're a pretender yeah mm -hmm. you're a pretender and all that so you just have to give that picture that this is me and this is who i am and this is what i like and this is what i don't want from to, the beginning you know from the beginning, beginning. So, and right. that says the peace and the boundary. So, people will know, or your neighbors will know, oh, this is what Sumto likes, or this is what she likes, mm. and this is what he likes, and this is what I shouldn't do. Mm. And I think they are That's a good way to go. go. However, some mind. people are slow in grasping these things. You know, and at the end of the day, I, can, I think it causes some kind of friction. Friction, yeah. You know? So, for instance, I remember when I moved into where I was, uh, you know, staying at some point, and, um, you know, I felt anybody that comes in, I should be friendly <coughs> to that person. I mean, when you come in, you know, show some good neighborliness, you know, say, oh, welcome back, I'm um, welcome into the compound, mm -hmm. or if you need anything, here's my number, or, you know, stuff like that, you know. And it's not everybody that would like that kind of warmth, welcome. Yeah. that kind of welcome, yeah. you know. But at the end of the day, you do it, you know, and because you probably expect that would, you know, that, no, you know, you that kind of thing is reciprocal. Yeah, yeah. That, it's reciprocal. Yeah. But not, not everybody catches on. And some people just want, you know, they, they just want their space. Yes. You know, they don't want that inter... But it could be due to a past experience. Exactly. Maybe experience they've had a very exactly. terrible yeah. experience. Experiences differ. Exactly. Yeah. Working hours differ. Exactly. Especially <laughs> in, in big cities. Yes. You're, you're coming back and I'm just leaving. Yes. When I used to do shifts, you know, yeah. the, the, you, you would think that your day was ending. Mine would just be beginning, beginning. you know. And by the time you're, 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 you're catching sleep and, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, it's almost time for you to go to the office, right. that would be the time that I would be back right. from work. And I'll even be trying to look for parking space and mm -hmm. might even generate some noise right. while, uh, while I'm doing that. And this is like oh way God. past midnight. Parking yes. Just parking space. Parking <coughs> space. <laughs> In a big city like this, parking space has caused a lot of problems, you know. You come at that hour of the mm -hmm. night, you park behind the person that's going to be up and going to the work at morning. 7 in the yeah. morning. So you've just caught like <coughs> three hours of sleep. Oh. And they have to wake you up to now move your car so the person that's going to work at seven. I mean, sometimes bad blood comes up. Yeah, but well, how can it, we it, mitigate it, it, risks, it, such risks? So it, well. it is difficult. It is difficult. Unless you, you have a meeting and arrange and arrange and rearrange. It, but doesn't, it doesn't work. work out. It doesn't work. Well, um, of course, it doesn't, um, work. it doesn't work. But issues around, like I said earlier, emotional intelligence, mm -hmm. you know, and being able to live in love love mm. love is very very vital so naturally or we have i say love is the the greatest rule of all yeah, yeah. so and when you have love in your heart mm. you will be able to understand Thanks, people yeah because sometimes the way we think Selfless. and not actually the way other people think mm -hmm. sure. the way yeah. you see something might yeah. not actually be the way the other person sees it exactly. so you should be able to always put yourself in people's shoes mm. To, so you could be able to understand mm -hmm. what are their reasons behind any actions or what any actions they have mm -hmm. um, um, But taking. do we always get to do you that? Know, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, so for me, so let, let, let me just give an instance. With this parking thing, the compound was really large and we were all going to work at different hours. Right. In the end, <coughs> I had to take a risk. When I do the night shift, you know, when I do the, the, the continuity for the night shift, then, in then, the and I want to sleep in the morning, mm. I just leave my car outside. Uh, I, see. I left it outside the gate and I just I just had an arrangement with the gate man. I say whenever I'm doing this night shift, please, I'm keeping my car outside because I don't want anybody waking me up in the morning. Right. I need this sleep because I'm going to do another night shift the next day. Mm. So I need this sleep. So you know what? Sleep. Yeah, I need you to just keep an eye on this car. I'm taking a risk, but please mm. keep an eye. Even if I have to tip you a little extra, I'm leaving it outside the gate. Right. You know, because yeah. I mean, you really have to think about your own sanity. Yeah. In the end, it, 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 it has to be something that works for you. Right. If you, if you don't, if it doesn't work for you, then how can you make it work for someone else? Mm -hmm. So that kind of solved my problem and solved somebody else's problem, problem. as well, without right. them having to worry that they must wake me up. And this waking in the morning, 
I know someone who slumped when they waked him up in the when they woke him up in the morning. Wow. He woke up to go and get the, to, to 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 drive out so someone else could go out. And when when he just slumped. No kidding. When there's a child out there that's not getting the same that your own child is getting, the difference will tell and there will come a time in the society where that child is going to take his pound of flesh. Where you can actually, ev everything from watching a, a program with the child, you can start up the conversation from something on the TV and yeah. say, oh, you know. <laughs> for, me, for me, it's like hurry up with this business. Mm. And you know one said, and see, it's not about me, it's about the guys, it's they're not ready the to marry. Yes. See, if she wants to ask something, no, I know my mother very well. <laughs> In fact, the most interesting one is when I put up pictures on WhatsApp, you know, Snapchat filters and all that, she will call me, mm -hmm. remove that picture. <laughs> I, was the thing, I got tired of all that. First of all, we have to go back to a writer who are uh, very well known for you know, teaching skills. Your students uh, speak a whole lot about you. It's Nigeria competition. Yeah, I said, you know, let's pick them up, uh, let's take them back to Nigeria, and let's teach them a different kind of job. Um, you know, sometimes you have to be intelligent. You have to, to do things that will work for you. If, if you're working all night and you need your sleep in the morning because you're going to work a night shift again, you have to walk around the problems. Instead of having someone wake you up in the morning so you can reverse your car so they can go to work at 7 a.m. and you've only caught like three hours of sleep, is you have to think outside the box. For me, I, I arranged with the security man and I would park my car outside the gate. And I would just say, you know what, take care of the car because I don't want anybody waking me up and I need right. the sleep because I'm going to work in the morning. You know, these are some of the things you have to do just to, you know, maintain the peace and yeah. maintain your own sanity That's because big city, big city living, you know, uh -huh. different work hours, different attitudes. People don't, you know, not everybody understands where you're coming from. Nobody, underst not everybody understands your problem. Mm -hmm. So you just have to work in a way that you're solving your own problem and staying out of somebody else's hair as well, you know. Mm -hmm. These are some of the things that you have to do. So but I think the landlords themselves are not actually no, you know, yeah. being reasonable sometimes. Yeah. Hmm. There's it's no easy. way uh, uh, you, you, for example, in an estate, there's just a parking space for like two cars entitled yeah. to one house. But at the end of the day, one person will be owning like four or five cars. Where do you expect him to park? Of course, it's going to take your space and there will always be an issue. Yes. So, yeah, I think uh, sometimes it's uh, landlords actually that <laughs> cause these problems. Yeah. <laughs> Just because they want to maximize profits. Yeah, and of course, I, I don't especially think it's in fair. Abuja. Yeah, yeah, I don't think it's fair. I mean, you have a small space and then you want to make as many spaces for each person to. And at the end of the day, it just causes a lot of friction. And I, I don't think that's fair, really. And it's very difficult to work around such problems. You yes, know, you really, yes, really because the, the real problem is from the structure. Itself, yeah, know? the structure and of the living. Yeah, the, and the, so for if, if, if you're going to tackle problems that emanate from stuff like that, you have to tackle it from the roots. And from that's the, roots. the spacing in the first place. But you, you know, how, how, how else... I, I don't know. It, it, you know, sometimes it gets, it gets, it really gets out of hand. You have shouting matches. Yes, of you course. You have, you have people yelling themselves. And there are yes. security issues. Like yes. you, you took a risk. You, yes. you, did you took a risk. risk. What if it even was, after you, you, you tipped the, the, the security, and then and something still, happened, something still yeah, happened. You can't you know, hold him responsible. Yeah, you, no, I can't, of, yeah, course. of course. And I, and I also can't hold my landlord uh, responsible. But I needed my sanity. I, I think um, <laughs> um, 
had similar experience, you know, while growing up. So our compound those days was we had plenty of vehicles, and then uh, one of the evenings <coughs> my dad parked um, outside, you know, just because of this um, who mm. oh, oh, park out, who oh, mm -hmm. oh, move vehicle first and all that, and then. Woke up the morning and found out that the stereo system was um, stolen. Oh, you see, you know, yeah, so, so these yeah, are these, know. these are the merits of <laughs> yeah. such such um, risks. Such, yeah. such, such such risk. So I think that um, there should be an agreement. There should be a discussion and conversation, and there should be rules yeah. and guidelines yes. about how. But do we follow rules? Yes. Do we follow rules? We have to. We have to. We have to. We have to. If, if we want to live in peace and if we want to get things done the proper way mm -hmm. we have to set rules, rules. Set, set guidelines yeah. and will, abide by it yes that will Not protect everyone oh you have to come back by this time or oh, if you come back by this time um you pack your car here or there's just you know, two parking space for you yeah. two parking space. and that's if you have any other vehicle if, exactly. if you have another vehicle if, I if, you, if you anywhere you wi-fi if mm -hmm. you want you can park it in the junction but i believe you if know. you have a good neighbor and let's say i live with you i live close to you you're my neighbor and you have just one, one car and i have three cars it's all about talking to your neighbor and if yeah. the person feels all right within. and she's okay with it you can actually park your car there but if she insists she wants her space because mm -hmm. some people are not reasonable at all exactly so you can just, <laughs> you can just at allow them point, to at some point. your right exactly to park there exactly what if at, because human beings are the most difficult people to mm -hmm. manage yes. right i'm telling what you what if at some point I have my second car, mm -hmm. and then yeah. I tell. But you don't well, have it at the oh, moment. No, hold on. At yeah. some, at okay, some okay, point, okay. I yes, have a, I, I have a second car. Right? Yeah, and, and I you come need to your space. you, and I need my space, and, and I'll be like, you, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're <laughs> saying. Yeah, yeah, I know. And I'll but be like, you know, I, I was, but I've been parking there forever. Yeah, you know. But we, oh, we, we, we really also have to draw from communal living, from where we're coming from. Yeah. You know, the, the villages, the smaller cities, the smaller urban mm -hmm. centers oh, where we're coming from. Oh, it's beautiful over Where there. there are no fences, mm -hmm. the, the communities are not gated. Unfortunately, yes, we, they are building the, yeah. the fences. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Organization is reaching their yeah. 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 we're, we're living. We're living peacefully. I think the atmosphere was, was better. And there was, <coughs> there was a sense of, you know, Friendliness, yeah. because there was there's a friendliness. I think it has to do with living. so much love. Yeah, people, you, people yeah. Yeah. look out I, I for think each other. There's also the so why can't we bring that to the city? I think there's also the downside to that. You can't bring that to the city. Your social media has taken part. I've taken yeah. everything. <laughs> No, but the truth is, you see stories, you see what neighbors do to their neighbors yes. on social media and exactly. everything. So you have to. No, be even in the villages now, this things are also changing, mm -hmm. and you also th there's also the downside to it. Yeah, as much as it's relatively safe, it's relatively uh, more uh, it's accommodating. More accommodating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You also have neighbors that would want to poison you or that would gossip. You know, say the wrong things about you, spread yeah, it around. Spread, you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. And I think it's because of things like this that urbanization too has taken place. And when people leave the villages for the cities, they want to leave that aspect of life. And that's why we probably have our fences up now. Mary, I want to you ask know? a question. Right. So um, the kind of environment <coughs> or the kind of neighbors you want to have, um, does it, you have to put that in contact and start looking for an apartment. Stop it again. Yes, when you're <laughs> searching, you know, you know what? No, sometimes it's, it's not that easy. No, no. Sometimes okay, you can't tell. Think that the, 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 the neighbors vary from the kind of place you have. But you know, even before. Yes, yes, I know. I know. We, we, I mean, we, we have to qualify these things. Mm. Although, although in, in another sense, it's quite relative. But yeah. for instance, let, let's, let's, let's just be realistic. <laughs> yeah. The behavior of your neighbors in the ghetto is not the same as yes. the behavior of your neighbors. And then it you might be in, too short yeah. for you to judge. Yeah, yeah just sometimes. Seeing, I mean, it, 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 it's it, just why I'm saying oh it's re sometimes well, it's relative. Re yeah. It's yeah. relative with where you're living. Right. But, 90, and then, but, but 90 to 85% sure. Of where yeah. you're living yes. will yes. determine who because your neighbors are. The children are, are raised, the children are raised in an, the, you... the children are raised in an environment, in another environment. Mm. You know, let's say for example, the place you call the gate and yeah. can never be the same children you raised, you know, in, in, in um, gated in, in, yes, communities in, in an where you young and, 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 and part of town. Yeah. So, and really most of these things are relative. But if you if you say you would have to choose your neighbors based on your neighborhood whether it's upscale or down in the ghetto it also depends on if you yell who's going to come where will they come out to help you these, yeah. these things are so it's relative if you're living in a gated community it's upscale and you're yelling for help and nobody opens their gate to help you everybody is safe in their own little space right. that too just tells you that your neighbors are not good true
So, so I mean, it, it, sometimes it's, it's all very relative. Well, can, I, can I ask a question? Yeah. Because yeah. you yelled. Yeah. And because you, you are a lot of like, noise that you are asking for help and your neighbors didn't come to help. Does that make them bad input? I think so, yes. They ought to come out. We anyway. all have our responsibilities as <laughs> neighbors. Yeah. I think. As, as a, a neighbor. human being, yeah. as a human so being even. As a human being. And they can hear you and they don't come out. But does so. And does that mean you when you hear someone Someone's yell you wouldn't you come, you out? come out? Come and knock. And yeah. ask yeah. As in, you, you know call, you call, someone. call the police. Well let's talk about fire service. Let's see it this way. When there's maybe, you know, a friction between a husband and wife, maybe there's a fight. And you know it's a fight. From and they do that you want to get as, involved No, no, you don't business. get involved. You want them to break your head? It's no, no, that's what I'm saying. You, I, I feel you shouldn't get involved. You, you see husband domestic, and wife, yeah. if you want husband and wife, they are fighting. No, you shouldn't and get involved. Because you're, good, you're a good tricky. neighbor. You it's want very to join? tricky. No. It's very tricky. I can't, what if I can't that get man involved kills that woman? Or the woman uh, kills the man? Or they it's break or, or they kill you in the it's, process? And what if it's a habit? They've been <laughs> doing that. They keep doing that. <laughs> no, no, it's not no, you. But, you, but, you know what? Yourself. You know what? We we we, we must, every situation should be judged by its own merit. You understand? You cannot. We cannot generalize. If yeah, you know true. that this is an unfolding story, mm. this right. is something that has has been to an extent where you know what everybody knows. This woman is at risk. Then you know. At, at some point in time, you might not personally go to the scene, mm -hmm. but you might want to call the police. Yeah. Okay, but so you know, sometimes when there's, when, when, when there's an issue like that or a scenario like that, after helping out, the wife herself, which was supposed to be beaten by the yeah. husband, and you rescue her, she'll be like, waiting well, for well, 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 Why did yeah, you yeah, call? Yeah, that, that, that's yeah. a family thing. That's, that's that's I know. Do you understand? You exactly. Saying, so you feel treat stupid. Treat each case <laughs> on its own merit. You know your neighbors enough to know when there's absolute extreme danger well, and when you know what you should just mind your business and let and just let this go and then so somebody dies because you're minding your business no, that's what process. i'm saying exactly, that's why every exactly. case just you just have to you make a judgment call and yeah. you live with what you know exactly you live with and sometimes the yelling does not be a yeah. fight between a yeah. husband and wife it could be fire it could be something yeah, else just that recently requires my, your help. my neighbor's house went up in flames they were trying to do their trash thing they they, they, they had their trash in the oh. backyard and they were burning the trash and it got windy <coughs> and the embers got up on this on the ceiling and the roof on no. the Roof. Somehow the rafters caught fire. And the next thing it was fire, fire, fire. Oh. I mean, we all rushed out. You had to. The, I I had a home fire extinguisher. Right. I had to give it out. Yes. You understand yes. what I'm saying? Because wow. this is my neighbor's house. Mm -hmm. Two reasons: judgment call. If this house goes up in flames and there's so much flames, embers from those flames could end up on my own roof. Right. Yes. So I wasn't safeguarding my fire extinguisher and waiting for the fire to be on my house. So I took out my fire extinguisher and we went out and we got together and we helped because. There was no way fire service was not going to come there on time. So we, we helped out and, and put as out humans, the fire. it's your duty. Yeah, it's our duty. It's our responsibility. Yeah. The essence of even the, the word neighbor is to, to, to be able to help, mm -hmm, you right. know, in, a, um, in um, situations that need help. Where they're helpless. Yes. You know, where, where, where your neighbors are actually very, very, very um, helpless. Yeah. So I, I, I think. So we have, we have, but we have positive sides. We, we, we carpool. Neighbors couple, you know, you take the children to school, I bring them back. This is good neighborliness. Mm -hmm. And uh, if, if somebody wants someone to a listening ear, they can come over mm -hmm. without infringing on your... And, you know, but you build these relationships over time. It's not yes. something that happens overnight. Yes, and then... So, you know, and then sometimes they also, when they have parties, they can send some jello fries. Yes, yeah, so some jello Nigerian fries. Jello very, fries. But you know, very you know, jello fries. Yeah. There was this one of my neighbor that had a party and she didn't send jello fries. So you I'm took it personal. I took it personal. <laughs> I took it personal. That, 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 that I thought that we had good relationship. <laughs> And then what you had a party. My neighbor said it was Dojo now. The jello fries. Which neighbor fries Dojo and does not share? I said that Dojo is not easy now. I should find Dojo for the whole neighborhood. And, and you know, we, yeah, we, we bachelors now, we don't joke with such um, such uh, materials. <laughs> yeah, such, such gestures. <laughs> you know? So I had this um, neighbor. So, you know, she brings, you know, when she's a wife, she brings. And every day when I pray, I good, pray good prayers for her. Yeah, she's yes. a good neighbor. Yeah, good neighborliness. Good neighbor. Talking about neighborliness, you know, there are some neighbors that you just can't stand up. Oh.
tell me about it. They don't know their boundaries. It's true. And they can borrow the whole of Africa <laughs> from your house. So like those of that can knock and say, please, who is in your house? So? I'm telling you. <laughs> okay. I, I feel I'm there are things that can be borrowed. Sugar. There are matches. things that can be borrowed. Uh -huh. You can't borrow a they car. They can even borrow shoes, sir. You can't borrow a car. <laughs> you can't borrow shoes. You can't borrow. You can borrow things that I that need to be used, you know, readily mm -hmm. available. Yes. Say matches. Of course, maybe you well, want matches, to do something. Matches, exactly. okay. Sugar, once in a while. What about those ones that come and watch programs that end up not going? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they'll come into your house and they'll be like, I've not paid my DSTV and I need to watch it. And, uh, and you, you have the one you want to you watch. You want to watch, but they'll be dictated uh, to you. you I'll get to change okay, it. Change it to that the channel. Program. The next program is coming up in the no, next No, we're on a more serious note. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With this, with the age of technology, recently I, 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 I listened to a very heartbreaking story. A classroom is not only those whom you live with. The people you go to school with, our young ones, mm -hmm. uh, even if you're back in school in your middle age or your old age, mm -hmm. you have to take into co cognizance the fact <coughs> that you're in a classroom with like 40 people. Right. And you are aware that if the person sitting in front of you has missed school for two days, you, mm -hmm. you, you would want to take interest and find yeah, out. What's and happening? you want to know yes. who sits to your left, who sits to, to your, your right, right, who are the regular people that you exchange notes with. Mm -hmm. but all in all, if there's a class of 40, you should know at least the names of like 20 people. Yes. Then it was there at age. No, yes, no, yes. No. So there, there was this scenario recently of a lady that died in her room. Oh. And nobody, school? yeah. She, nobody she comes knew. to school and nobody knew. And when they were trying to talk about that, they said, oh, the lady that wears a veil. Oh, the lady that this. Nobody even knew yeah. her name. So I think, I think that has to do with people's attitude and attitude to life. Some people naturally are, uh, let's use the word, introverts. introverts yeah. So they keep to themselves. They yeah. don't make good friends. They don't make friends. And people from out part and say, oh, that very proud girl that yeah. chooses her friends, and that, 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 that don't, don't like greeting people and all that. So, and so those are boundaries that yes. we have to break. Yes. So we have, you, you have to know that in any situation that you're in, in the office, is it school, is it in the marketplace, wherever you are, you spend more than two hours. You must have so also, neighbors. Yes, and I also think uh, we should reach out. Yes. You understand more. that when you, when you see people that are not talking, when you see people that are Oh, Push a hi. little harder. Yeah. Yes. Push a little harder. Yeah, don't make, don't yes. just judge, pass yeah. a judgment on yeah. them. And just even them. know the basics about yes. that person, yes. you know, we who need the to person is. And I know a little bit. You will actually be change. shocked yeah. at those kind of people that we perceive as introverts, how they will respond to that and open up. Yes. You'll be actually surprised. Yes. True. You yes. know? Because so, sometimes it might be that they've gone through stuff. And they just made them. They're broken. So you have to be yeah, a little bit broken, broken for yeah. them to open up. Yeah, yeah exactly. you have to give them a room to, you know, to maneuver. You need, yeah. we need. So it's it's not only where we live. It's where we work. It's where yeah. we go to school. It's where right. we do business. Mm -hmm. You have one neighbor in each of these places because knowing, getting to know. If you come there constantly, then you must get to know. If you're going to a place more than three times in a week, right. then you get to know who are the people who are in that neighborhood, who are your people, who are the people that you relate with. And you must, you must know something yeah. about Especially people. in the place of work, work, because we actually spend most of our time, yes. in fact, in, most in, of in our lifetime, like this. Yeah, in, in our the work. office. Yeah. And in the places that, that I've worked, I always try to establish that, you know, see, let's make the most out, let's not need to fight and, you know. And struggle and yes, compete all the this time. This is where we spend most of the time. And so let's make it work, a family. Work, work, work. Let's make, yeah. let's form our own family here. It makes here. it easier. Anyway. It, makes, it makes the work go easier. It makes, it makes you a better person. You're happier. You oh. know, you deliver. Yeah. You look you know. forward to coming to exactly. work. Exactly. You know. And it still boils down to what I said earlier, which is love. Mm -hmm. We should learn to, to spread love anywhere we find oh. ourselves. Yeah. In the church, in the school, uh -huh. at home, at, at work. work. Anywhere you are, we should learn to fill our life with love and positivity. Yeah. positivity. And learn to give things without expecting people to, to give, give something in return. return. So that's a problem we have. We feel, oh, because I've done you this for me. you, you mm. owe me something. Nobody owes you anything. True. You do, you, you're doing stuff for people because you've decided to do that thing for them. Yeah. So we should do things with love. And somehow love always finds a ways back to you. Yeah, you and know. then sometimes, you know, it's a privilege. Some of the things you get from your neighbors are privileges. Yes. You yes. make it a right. Yes. Yes. It's never it's a right, really. Right. You should <laughs> understand that this is, they're doing this from the bottom of their heart because yes. they want to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when they tend not to do it, they might have one or two reasons why 
they don't want yeah. to do it at that point in time. So you should learn to appreciate every little effort. That your neighbor and makes you, them. Yes, you should learn to understand that sometimes it might not be convenient for your neighbor. Yeah. And a privilege is not a right. right yes. Yeah. But and I think That's most very, of us important. carry that notion in our heads, especially in this part of yes. the world. We feel, you know, those yes, kind of privileges yes, are right. Yeah, so that yeah. if it's not coming of his, ah, why you know, now? Why I'm, are you not? <coughs> I'm, 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 I'm funny enough, uh, a whole lot of our sisters have been able to be blessed with lovely husbands because they were nice neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> Another angle entirely. <laughs> then, you know, all in all, I just feel that a little empathy, a little two no. minutes to stop and listen, mm -hmm. not always rushing off, not always feeling aggravated, just once in a while, two minutes, just to say, you know what, I haven't seen you in a week. Yeah. Have you been good? Yeah. If you can't do that face to face on the weekend, pick up your phone, call. Right. I've not seen you. I have your number. You have my number. You know what? Let's but call what once in the relationship, relationship is not there even from yeah, the start. Well, How yeah, well, finally, yeah. Finally, we must talk about the toxic neighbors. You How, know do, what? You How do you How do you deal with that? That's, that's one too. I just believe that. You know what? On a day-to-day -day basis, you make your judgment calls based on every day, every week, like that. You know what? You don't want to, to, to carry somebody else's baggage. No, so you I decide, don't. you create your own space. Yep. You know what? Create your boundaries, and then you make what, whenever that toxic person wants to get into your space, you just make that judgment call and oh, just move on. Yes, yeah, so that's. And then, that's you, you, like I said, you have to be emotionally intelligent, you have to be smart. Mm. True. So you, you, you should be able to know what someone is thinking or what they want to do at next yeah. minute. Yeah. You know, so that, w that, w that will help you to um, not expect much from people. It would also help you to know the best way to relate with them, the kind of words to say to them. And also remember, to me, I don't see anyone as toxic. I don't see people as toxic or see people as bad people. Mm -hmm. People behave as a result of experiences that they've had, mm -hmm. as a result of a childhood, the yeah. childhood yeah, scenarios, where they have been to. And they yeah, say, sometimes you don't know people's story for the way they act. Sometimes it might be <laughs> psychological. Mm -hmm. So um, I think for you, to know how they behave because there's every good in every bad person. Of course. So let's always look at the good side. I oh, know well, yeah, I, 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 I agree with you, but for However, me, I, I always <laughs> make that judgment <laughs> call. If, I have, if my mind has told me exactly. that you know what, you're toxic, whenever exactly. it comes, I hate you come negativity. into my space, yeah. I hate negativity. You, do ne you bring the negativity notes. out in me, I draw the line uh, exactly. and I, and I, and I label me. you toxic. Yeah. You know I what, you can do that to me too. You can make that judgment call on me, so I'm willing to leave the consequences of that. What if you have a neighbor that comes to you and says, you don't know what Mr. Olu and his wife last week, and that's the juice that she brings. Do you send them away? Because definitely, if she's gonna talk about Mr. Olu with you, she's, she's gonna, gonna talk, talk about, about me. You, exactly. Yeah. So kind of how do you deal I with need that? them no, in the no, pot. No, I don't like negativity. No, if she, if she comes any form to, of it. if it's actually her first time to talk about that, you, you know, yeah, yeah, you just I'll laugh see. and find a way, technical way of. Uh, um, if um, she keeps coming just for the gossip, let me tell you, when 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 people try something for the first time. They, they, they are expecting a, a, a response. A response. Yeah. So for every action, there must be a, a reaction. reaction. So yeah. if he co she comes the first time, the second the time, time, the third she's time, just she's just going to label you. Yeah. What she's yeah. expecting they're, they're just going to give you a label. Some people, people, you have to spell it out. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> they don't get it. It's like she you, said, you some people sure. are slow. That's what I'm saying. You have to, you have to make that judgment call. Really, you must make that judgment call. You have to. Because in the end, in the end of it all, wherever you live, wherever you walk, your peace of mind is paramount. It's and if you're paramount. not getting it, then you have to take take matters into your own yes. hand and make it happen for yeah. yourself one True. way or the other, you know. You know, there are some neighbors that can actually use your children to get information. They be like, yeah, what well, did mommy she, cook yeah. today? Yeah, well. uh, did, your, did your father travel? <laughs> mommy and daddy, have they been fighting? They really? You know, a child... Or, Innocent yes, people just everything. Give it yeah, all, without even knowing the consequences. And people like that, I think that's a very terrible thing to, <laughs> to find information from your neighbor's children. Why do you have to go? What's your business? Mind your own business. Well, Everybody has his that, own. Well, well, well. That, 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 funny that. Enough, maybe such information might help you one day. Use that and save you when there's an issue. No, <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> it, it shouldn't go that far. There are better ways of finding out. There are better ways of finding out. And there are some neighbors that can cook and you, 
you know, smell the arrow from the arrow. Those, arrow those, people, oh, those people can be toxic neighbors, though, <laughs> because you'll be, you'll, be, you'll be experiencing the food, but you I cannot eat it. I think it's, it's, you know, <laughs> a, a torture. Yes, it kind is. Of, it's it a is. torture, kind of. No, the only and thing you just have to go and knock, oh. I know, no, no, no. You bachelor, yes. That is true. You become, you become an emergency visitor. Yeah, so many bachelors probably do. Yes, yes. Sometimes you'll be like, oh, God, I just wish you would just... Ah, no, but my neighbor, they stole the pot of stew. That <laughs> ended the discussion. Yeah. <laughs> we, 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 had, we had like studio <laughs> apartments. Yes. And then like two studios would share the kitchen. Two studios. So she, you know, since it's a studio apartment, she didn't want to bring the stew into the apartment. Yes. So she let it cool in the kitchen. Now while it was cooling in the oh kitchen, my her pot of chicken stew disappeared. Oh Powerful. My God. Like seriously, she oh came out. Did she do like a such? <laughs> <laughs> If I am the one, I'll go to everybody's house and check if it's oh, okay. there. So now, what, what how do you deal with that? On a weekend, she was like preparing for the new oh, week of work. Oh, so she had just God. done that. And this part of stew disappeared, of you know? Oh, so that's that's heartbreaking. Uh, I, I, that's 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 I don't think it's a neighbor that did that. Oh, really? Oh, like I some an that. alien came yeah, from space and took it? Anyway, the, the, it's conversations it's and we're talking user. about good neighborliness. Just numerous. <laughs> uh, well, I, I, I don't know. When, when we have really just to do one last round on this negativity. Edith, are you a good neighbor to your neighbor? I think That's I am. I, I cook are a you? lot. Are you sure? I cook a lot and I've been accused too of being like like the one that uh, said, who, 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 who which neighbor makes dodo and eats it alone? <laughs> <laughs> How many times can I share dodo <coughs> with you in a week? For goodness sake, stay in your lane. Let me and stay how in many dodos do you have to uh, try for it to go around? I should just start selling <laughs> dodo now. But, you but, know what? But, but, no, for us to know if she's <laughs> a good neighbor, we have to go and do Time some. Uh, we have to go and do some assessment. We have issue out the question to her neighbors. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> well, the ones that I've tasted of my cooking will tell you that I'm a good neighbor. <laughs> the ones that I've never invited to come and eat, we say that weekend woman that cooks and does not invite. Not. <laughs> so that's the way. What about it goes. Are you a good neighbor? True. Myself. Yes. yes. Do, do you, you know think? your neighbors? Oh, mm. I, I know my neighbors. Are you sure? but I think sometimes, heart? sometimes I'm too friendly. It's mm. they, they take it, you know, people you take it for, for a ride, ride. Okay. and then sometimes it makes me drop. Once we're drawn. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm. So. So, so, but but the f the the first thing on my mind is be nice. Yes. You know? Yeah, be nice. It's just and that most yourself. times people, yeah, be yourself. Be most yourself. times people take that for granted, but yeah. be nice. Yeah, be nice. Yeah, be, in spite of you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, be, be nice. nice and just draw that boundary. Sometimes you are the kind of yeah. neighbor that follows the aroma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> follows the aroma. Well, uh, the, last, the last time I to. last time I checked, it's not actually a crime to follow. <laughs> Aroma. So I can continue with that uh, wonderful uh, sure, uh, you can, uh, job you've given me. Sure, sure, sure. You know, personally, I've, I've um, uh, anywhere I've, I, I've, you know, seen being or like any compound or any environment I find myself, I've made it a duty. Like I've decided on myself that I'm going to spread love, mm. you know, and spreading love is making people around you to feel good, mm -hmm. you nice. know. See them, tell them something nice. Oh, you look good today. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, 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 that's a, that's a good scarf. Yeah. Oh, that's a lovely ride. How was your day? Mm -hmm. You know, things like this, um, except, except, someone's yes. Yeah. Day, so, so it doesn't cost you anything day. to just go that extra mile and then do that and you get into your room. And you find out that you, you have good, And you we know, love, you have to give to get it back. Yes, yes. And you, you do it and, 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 and it you're back. happy. Yeah. So, uh, and doing that, I've been able to enjoy very, very good um, relationship. Yeah. With both, both my ex neighbors and my now neighbors. <laughs> okay, you know. so we've we've had a very lively <coughs> discussion, and um, we have different views. But one thing is basic: you have to give love to get love. If you want good neighborliness, you have to be a good neighbor. And uh, I believe that we've been able to trash it. I think we yeah, trashed it well. Certain, that's for sure we did. <laughs> we sure we did. So on behalf of Rekiba, Chiwe, and Sumter, I say thank you for being part of conversations this week. We'll do this again, same time next week. Bye. Mm -hmm.